Welcome to Bruce Tracy Photography. Today we're going old school, and not really old school, but old school for me. I want to give you a little bit of background for my astrophotography. I got to be honest, before COVID hit, I didn't know anything about this night sky. I couldn't have told you anything about the moon phases. I couldn't have gone outside and pointed out any planets for you. I could probably barely tell you the difference between a galaxy and the universe. But once COVID hit, my fascination with the night sky just grew like crazy. I started studying everything I could online, and then soon I wanted to get closer to space with a telescope. I went out and bought myself a nice Acromat telescope, and it did take me up a little closer into space, but soon I wanted to take photos of space. And this right here was my key to the universe. This right here was the Evo Star, well, not was, it is. This is the Evo Star 72 ED. This was the telescope I got that first got me really close to some deep sky objects, really got me interested in the universe. I'm gonna share with you some of the photos I took in those first three months right now. They'll come up right here. So this thing right here, this was it. I love this telescope. About six, seven months in though, somebody from my community let me borrow their uh, Esprit 120ED, which is a really high-end telescope. And they also gave me a Panther TTS 160 mount, which is an expensive mount, which I don't have to pull or align and I don't use auto guiding for it. So for the last year and a half or so, that's all I've used. I've used the expensive stuff because I know I have to give it back eventually. But I quit using my beginner equipment, this Evo Star 72 ED, and my mount was the EQM 35, which is right over here. I'll turn the camera, let's do that now. Right there, this is the EQM, boy, I'm hoping I say that right, 35? I think it's the EQM 35. Both really good beginner devices. They're both easy to use, and they do a great job, but I haven't used them for a year and a half, and I gotta be honest, I forgot how to use them. So I'm gonna take them out tonight. I'm gonna reset this up. I'm gonna use PHD2, which is Push Here Dummy 2, to help me lock into a guide star and to get these photographs. Again, I haven't used these in about a year and a half, so I'm probably gonna have to relearn a lot of it, but I'm excited to do it, because this was my original equipment and I loved it. All right, I'm gonna take you out to the back here and we're gonna get started on a night of trying to get the Andromeda Galaxy with my original equipment. I'm calling it the old school astrophotography setup. I'm going old school tonight. I got my Skywatcher EQM 35 mount ready to go. That's the first mount I ever used. It also works best for my wide field refractor here, which is my Skywatcher Evo Star 72 ED. Perfect for shooting Andromeda. Got my SV Bonnie guide scope up top with my ZWO guide camera in the back there. And let's see, I'll come around this side. I've got my new Canon R7 camera on there, which is gonna be great. It's a crop sensored camera, so it's gonna get me a little bit closer in on my final video here. Also, it's super high megapixels. I wish I could tell you what that is right now. I'll probably print it on the screen because I can't remember it at this moment. But it's gonna take some great shots, I think, of the Andromeda Galaxy. And there we have the Orion Field Flattener. It's the wide, uh, wide field telescope field flattener. Works pretty good. It does a nice job for this. And then down below here, I got my power box, that yellow box down there. That's going to be powering up my computer. The computer's going to be running a P PHD2, which will be using the guide to keep me locked in on my target. And uh, I got to be honest, I'm feeling pretty good. It's, it's kind of satisfying to get the old gear out. It takes a little more work. You got to polar align it. it, takes a little longer to find your target to get it focused up. But once you get it locked in with PHD2, that thing is gonna track perfectly all night long. And uh, I'm kind of excited to, get to do this again because it's been so long. So stick with me, we'll see what we can get with this setup shooting up at the Andromeda Galaxy. Well, we are several hours in and I am locked on tight. So we are now focused up at Andromeda. Telescope looking up at the sky on the Skywatcher EQM35 mount here. But what I really wanna show you guys, let me turn off my red light on my headlamp. Let me show you the screen for PHD2. I don't think I've ever guided this tightly before. Let's take a look at these numbers. Those are incredible guiding numbers, at least for me. I've never been that locked in before on PHD2. Those lines are barely wavering at all. So there's PHD2. If you haven't used it before, it's ridiculously easy. Uh, you simply hook up your equipment to it, lock it in, start it. It's called Push Here dummy 2 is what PhD2 stands for. 